Welcome back to another episode of Arnold's Thoughts Podcast. It's your boy Arnold. And today we have another segment of Keys to the Game. Today we're going to be talking about what I believe are my three keys to playing this game professionally. All right, well, so what do I mean by my three keys? My three tips that I believe, not even tips, the things that I think that you have to have if you want to pursue a career in playing this game. This is the game I play. This is the game that I love. This is a game that I use to excel me in life. I had hoop dreams at five, at 13. I want to play this game. I want to play professionally. I want to hear my name being called out. I want to hear them screaming my name. I want to score a lot of points. I want to grab rebounds. I want to win championships. This episode of Arnold's Thoughts Podcast is sponsored by Bold Claims Apparel. Bold Claims. It's not just a statement, it's a lifestyle. Click the link in the bio and shop their latest apparel today. Back to the episode. And by the grace of God, I've been able to do all those things. But in all my career, there's certain tips and things that I took that I realized that I cannot have in this game without these three major things that I believe that any player, any person who wants to start out in really in any field, but especially this life of overseas basketball, there's certain things that you must have in order to even have a career, not even have a successful career, but just have a career period. And the first thing is belief. You have to believe that you can play this game at the next level. I feel like players come into the game Hey, I came from Kentucky. I came from here and I'm going to produce immediately. That doesn't always happen. You lose sight of what you believe that you can really do. If you don't believe that you can play this game and play for a long time, it'll never happen. If I didn't believe at the age of 13 that I would be able to play the game of basketball professionally, somebody asked me, it was like on the morning news, where do you see yourself in five years um, and I was like, shoot, playing professional basketball. This was like around my senior year of high school. I was like playing professional basketball, and I never forget it. I will never forget. It was a guy walking by, and he heard me say that, and he just, <laughs> like, <laughs> this guy. <laughs> that moment stuck with me every day of my life. I remember him looking at me with that smug look, just like, you would never play basketball huh? professionally. It was just like that right there was all the fuel I needed. Like, so you believe you you won't laugh at me and my dream that what I say that I really want out of my, out of my life, I believe that I'm going to play this game. Not just play it, but play it at the highest level possible. I never lost that belief, and that's what led me to where I am today, because I believe first. When other people doubting, they don't believe in what you can do, you got to believe first. You got to believe it can happen to you. You got to believe that I can go and lead my team to a championship. I can come and dominate a country. And you have to believe all that first. If you don't believe it first in your mind and in your spirit and in your soul that I can play this game and play it and excel, you might as well not even start. Because this is not for the weak hearted. This game is not for the weak hearted at all. Struggles, depressions, down, anxiety. Everything you want and everything you believe that's going to happen. Is, yeah, it's coming. Welcome to the game. You think that just the basketball, I could. Welcome to the game, the real game. The life that comes with playing this game. You got to believe that you can do it first. You got to believe this is what I'm here for. This is what I'm meant to do. This is what drives me every single day. I get up every single day. I hit the weight room. Then I go straight into um, a workout inside the gym. I come home, eat, chill, do my one-twos. Then I'm back in the gym again. It does not stop. It does not stop because I believe if I want to be great in this game, I have to do more and more to better myself and better myself and better myself every single day. Which brings me to my second point. Another thing that you would need to be able to play this game is you got to have a mentor. You got to have somebody that you're following that shows you the way. 
You want to be great in anything? You want to be a great basketball player? Or are you watching Kobe every day? You got to watch the greats. I can't, I can't go find a mentor. I want this guy to help me and teach me, but he, he's too expensive. I can't get to him. He lives in another state. You, they got YouTube. They got Instagram. They got all these platforms where people are putting their self out there every single day, telling you what you need to do to get better, showing you the way that you need to get better. Find one. Go and watch a Kobe video every single day of what he did to, to work, his work ethic. Every single day. Watch, I watched the, the Last Dance probably four or five times. Why? To study from Jordan. Study his mentality. Study his killer instinct. The greatest. You have to study LeBron. Look at LeBron's longevity at a high level. Study what he does that makes him last this long at such a high level. How is he able to last this long? How is he able to, his body to stay like this? What is he doing to make his body just stay at such a high peak for this long? Oh, he blessed. No, what he does behind that, that's greatness. Figuring out what it takes to stay on a consistent high level, to make my body be able to keep up with me at such a high level at all times. I'm putting extreme pressure on my body. I'm playing in finals after finals after finals, and my body is still able to keep up with me. Study the greats. Study Kobe. Study Jordan. Study Manu Ginobili. Study all the people that has done it and done it at a high level. Take pieces from them so you can grow your game. Grow your style. Watch how they move. Watch how they get in the post. Watch how they read the game. Study the intangibles that they have in their game that makes them the great. Their work ethic. Which brings me to my third point. Work. You cannot play the game without putting in the work. Faith without works is dead. Yeah, you believe you have faith, but that work has to make that come true. There is no, there, this does not exist without the work you got to put in. You're asked to go and be, basically in almost every situation, to be the star. We're paying you. You have to, you have to produce. You have to produce for this team because we are paying you the most money to come here and do this for us. That's about 90% of every player that's going to a team. You're looking to be their best player. Or top two, top three best player. Going halfway and just coming in and getting to the gym one time, two times, that's not going to get it done. What is the work that you're putting in to get to the level that you say that you want? If you're not constantly putting in the grind every day, like you literally have to be beating on your craft every single day. You have to have a daily dedication to this is what I want to do. If you're not touching the basketball or playing the basketball or mentally focusing on the game of basketball, uh, whatever sport that you play, whatever it is, if you're not daily beating on that craft, working on it, studying it, absorbing something about that game, that makes that wants you to reach to another level with it, it's not gonna happen. That's the work you put in every day. Okay, I came in and I got my shots. What else can I do to go further? Okay, well, I can go do some sprints after this. Okay, well, let me do some sprints after that. You know what? Let me get a little bit more ball handling. Let me get a little more film study. Let me go watch Kobe and see how he worked in the post. Let me go see what Kobe's workout was. Let me go see what LeBron offseason workout was. And let me see the training regimen that he does to keep his body strong and in shape. And it keeps him physically fit to be able to withstand a durable long season. Most seasons, most seasons are not even like the NBA seasons. NBA seasons got 82 games. Most seasons overseas, you ain't you might get 50, 40, but it doesn't really be no 82. To play on that level and to withstand all those games, that's a level of greatness. That's a level of studying and beating on your craft and understanding what are the steps that I need to take to be able to withstand and last this long and be great in the type of work that I must put in to be able to say that I play this game. I respect this game. I choose 
to allow everything in me to put the work in to make what I believe to come true. I'm watching the grades. I'm studying from the grades. I'm putting in the work every single day for what it is I want. So those are my three keys that I believe if you want to play this game to another and you want to take it to another level, these are my three that I believe that are key and essential to jumpstarting you and just preparing you to get to where you want to play. I, every time I see somebody who loves the game, who wants to play the game, I, I just want to help them. I just want to show them. And if I could tell you these few things that help me, these are the things that help me to last nine years, to win seven championships, to go seven and zero in all the championships. These are the things that I use to help me excel. That's all we got for you today, man. Until next time.